Hi everybody, it's Susan. Hope everybody's doing good today on this uh, Friday late in the afternoon. I have a great project to share with you that I just finished. Don't ask me how I came up with it. I was really, really sitting here earlier with my thinking cap on, wanting to make something a little bit different than just altering boxes and doing, you know, dress forms and cards and birdhouses and whatever. And suddenly this came to me and I'm going to share it with you. What I have here is an A2 envelope liner template and the A2 um, envelope itself template. And this is what you're going to need. You're going to need some kind of template of an envelope. Even if you have a Cricut and um, you cut out you know, a, an envelope that's A2 size and use that as a template, get one off the internet whatever it is open an envelope that you already have take the you know try to open it carefully and 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 use that okay so you have your envelope and what you're going to need is a piece of material and i would highly recommend something substantial that has you know uh, some kind of stiffness to it and I, I would not say you know anything that would be like silk or satin uh, perhaps make a heavy gauze um, I didn't have any gauze I didn't um, have any anything that was heavy except for this kind of uh, material which is like um, you would buy like pillows for your sofa uh, you would have curtains made out of this for your home and this I bought at the craft store over this well probably about three four maybe five months ago um, they were selling them something for like a, a dollar or a dollar fifty each and I bought a handful of the ones that, that I really liked that kind of had a little bit of a vintage flair to it you know that little bit of a romantic feel and a little bit of that Marie Antoinette kind of thing that I like and um, so you'll need a piece of material you're going to need some kind of trim this is called Chinese braid it comes in all kinds of different widths and um, and colors and it's very beautiful you can use that or you can use uh, some other kind of trim I mean if you have something else that's a little bit uh, fancier like that you can use that but um, I would go with something that's a little narrower okay you're probably saying what is she making and you're going to need a tassel and uh, it could be any color any uh, thickness uh, to, to your uh, preference and um, Oops, I left out one thing and it figures I'm never, never prepared. You're going to need some kind of a vintage style button, whether it's gold, whether it's black, whether it's silver, but it's kind of old world would be nice unless you want to do something gothic and crazy. Uh, then you can, um, you can certainly stick with whatever modern style that you like. You're either going to need snaps or Velcro, and that all depends on the material that you use. Okay, um, I tried to use Velcro, and I wanted to use the smallest piece possible, and it did not work out for me. So um, I kicked the bucket on the Velcro. Now, again, depending on what you use. Um, and I used an, a very old snap that came from my uh, my old... Um, my old... Um, um, Blech. sorry <laughs> my old button box and also you're going to need a piece of felt again this was something like eight or nine yards of felt for two dollars from the craft store they were having this big sale at the time so I bought whatever color that was to my liking which I didn't want light blue or pink or yellow or dark green so I kind of went with something a little more vintagey with like a burgundy color because I was buying these other pieces here. Okay, um, and once you have all of that, the adhesive that you're going to need. Now, if you're a sewer, it's great. If you're not a sewer, then you're going to need adhesive. I am a sewer. I do have a sewing machine. However, my craft room is not ready to hold my sewing machine, which is in the closet, and I was not digging it out uh, for this. So what you're going to need is whatever color that um, you're working on uh, you're going to need some thread and a needle okay and you're going to need that would be to sew on your button um, you're also going to need some Fabri-Tac which you can get at Joann's craft store 
see I bought mine there or you can buy it at your local fabric store it's about three or four dollars I've had it for quite a while it's uh, it, it goes a long way okay and then you're gonna need something called fray check now you don't have to use this um, if you have um, um, what is that stuff called again Well, anyway, some kind of liquid glue, uh, glossy accents, I'm sorry. You can use glossy accents in this place as well, but the fray check works like a charm. And what that is, uh, since you're not going to be sewing, because this is a sewing-free project without a, the sewing machine, um, you, um, you would put this on the edges. Now, you see, when I cut this out, you've got those little fray pieces hanging, and the more you play with it and touch it, the more it starts to shed, and then you'll ruin your project over time. Okay, so now here comes the finishing product, finally, that I can share with you, that you see all the supplies that you're going to need, okay? And I'm just going to bring it over here. I have it on a piece of solid cardstock so that you can see what I did. And just excuse my desk, it's a wreck. Okay, this is so pretty. I totally love this. And I had this in mind for... Um, a mini album or a scrapbooking project of some kind or just to put tags in it with pictures on it and this ladies is act and gentlemen um, is actually the envelope die that I used I'm just gonna put this down for one second so please bear with me okay I'm just gonna open it the way you would see it okay and what I had done was was I put the envelope die down on the material and I used a black marker you can use a white uh, pencil or um, some kind of a gel pen whatever is gonna gonna go even a regular pen but I use a marker so that I can see what I was doing because this was a very dark color and I, I cut out the whole entire envelope with the template um, after I cut the envelope out I had it totally open as if I was gonna fold it like it was paper and then I use the liner um, of the envelope and I cut out a piece of felt which I wanted this to be like a Marie Antoinette project so I was kind of looking at this to be like velvet I did not have any burgundy velvet at all I had bright red velvet and it just didn't go so I thought that the burgundy would work plus this was a really nice material to work with using the Fabri-Tac um, I use a lot of this trim in a lot of my projects, cards, tags, flowers, what have you. And I had one really long piece left and I just made it. So what I had done was, is that I closed the envelope, okay, the material envelope exactly the way I would be closing it as if it were paper by not putting any glue over here, just adhering the glue on this side, putting the glue down on that side, after I put the felt down and um, and then you can just see that once you turned it over it looked like that and I was like oh I have to brighten this up a little bit because when I had cut it out if you look closely there was some white there there was a black marker there and you know it, w it wasn't lined and that was what I wanted I wanted it lined and I could not use satin because the satin would stain horribly with the Fabri-Tac and again I was not sewing here so I was kind of saving myself sewing so this is a sewing free project with the exception to the snap and the button which if you like you can use velcro depending on the project you're using you don't have to use anything you can even use a pretty pin and close it that way if you want to close it at all so I put the um, fab the um, the trim all the way around with the Fabri-Tac um, all the way around here around the top okay and then I sewed a little tiny snap there which is a really old snap it's got to be about 80 years old and I'm not kidding people okay and then I'm trying to see this as I'm doing it you'll just snap it closed okay and on the outside I have a button here for my friend Nikki hi Nikki she had sent me way back a rack and uh, there were some buttons in there so I finally used that one and um, I also had purchased this uh, gold tassel um, several months back uh, in case I had needed it for something and sure enough I did so what I did was is I just wrapped the um, the piece around the top uh, around the button and I'm done the other side is plain I'm not using any handle here um, I was thinking about putting some crystals and pearls in 
but I'm not going to be doing that because again I want to use this as somewhere when I can put photo mats in with pictures on them kind of like a mini book album that's material and um, this is my really cute Marie Antoinette um, envelope holder so and it's all material and was a lot of fun to make it really I can't say it was very super challenging but it was fun because I didn't have to really sew even though I'm a sewer so again um, whoever doesn't sew you can always clip off the other end of the button and hot glue it down onto the material and you'll be all set uh, you don't have to use a fringe but I did um, and you can use any other kind of trim that you like if you don't want to you don't have to but it was really a lot of fun I really enjoyed making it and uh, um, you know why don't you give it a shot and let me know what you come up with I'd love to see your ideas so thanks for watching another video from a vintage design Susie there <laughs> thanks for watching another video from a vintage design studio bloopers this is Susie crafter signing out and I look forward to seeing all of your comments so thank you so much everybody and have a great weekend bye